Hey gang, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, it's Tommy and Mike here for Power BI Tips. We're going to talk through, talk through some things around Power BI goals and what they are in the service and how to use them. Tommy, go ahead, take it away. So I'm really excited today. Uh, this is a relatively new feature got released in at the Microsoft Business Application Summit in 2021. Yep. And Microsoft's been doing a phenomenal job updating this. And if you've not heard about goals yet, I encourage you to check it out. Some people have been calling it the true dashboard. Yours truly has been calling that. Where what goals are is really the new way to look at the most important metrics and start measuring what matters. What it allows you to do is actually point any data set, any data point in your reports in one single location. And this is very unlike dashboards where you kind of already create a visual. Yes. What I can actually do is point any particular data point that matters to me and see how, where it is trending on currently and see based on any target that I pick. And that target can come from another report. It can be something I manually add mm -hmm. or it can be my year over year. Awesome. So it's a really amazing uh, feature that we're excited to showcase in these series of videos. All right, so these videos are gonna be just the introduction for this video. We're gonna be a number of other videos that are gonna tell you how to build them, use them, and some best use cases where you would use these goals and how you could incorporate them into your business flow. All right, I'm gonna transition over here to Tommy's screen. Tommy, go ahead, give us an overview. Um, where, do, where can we find these goals? You yeah. know, what are they in the service? And just kind of give us a quick overview of what they're doing. So here we are in a scorecard and actually I'll take a back step and show where we actually found the scorecard in Perfect. Power BI goals. And all we have to do is if I'm a Power BI home here on the left-hand side, all we have to do when I expand underneath data sets and right above apps, we can actually see goals and you can see is right drilled in here, this little nugget. And by the way, this is available, not just for anyone in premium, but someone, if you have pro, you can use goals. So let's go in, I'll click on goals here. And really what I see here is my, any scorecards that I've already created, my recents, favorite, share with me, or all the scorecards I have access to. Now, in my tenant, I can actually see goals that have already been created. But if you are just looking at this for the first time, what you will see is samples. And this is a good way to kind of check out uh, any any new things. In this case, you'll probably see the education, sales, marketing, human resources. And it just allows you to see different ways you can apply goals in your organization. So in this case, I'm going to go on the bottom over here. And what you can see is all my scorecards. In this case, I can favorite a scorecard in the same way you could favorite a report or a dashboard. And I'm going to go down to this one called Chicago Pug Scorecard. And once I get into here, you can see that my most important goals are already set up here. In a scorecard, you have goals, and that's basically how the Power BI infrastructure works when we're talking about goals here. A scorecard is going to contain many goals. In this case, I'm tracking some of the ones that are most important to me. You can see them on here. Sales at cost, my product margin, products that are currently having a profit, and then I have some of my time-sensitive ones, year over year, and you have revenue year to date, year over year. And again, being a true dashboard, what I can actually see here is the status of these. And these can be dynamic based on rules that you already set up. So if I want something to be on, uh, showing me that it's on track based on a percentage over the target number or over a dynamic number I already set, I can do so. You can see the second one down, the product margin, my three month period over period that I'm tracking. I can actually see here that it's actually at risk based on statuses I already set up. And I can finally see at the very bottom, my six month trending period for product margin. I can see that it's actually behind. And again, this is all based on status rules that you can set up. And the really neat thing with these goals that you have the ability to is again, customization as much as you really want to do. You'll notice that on each of these, there's these little arrows that is actually showing you uh, collapse and expand. I have sub goals underneath each of these. So if you want to build as much as you want. In this case, not only checking the high level sales at cost, but I'm looking at this based on bikes. How are the bikes actually doing? And again, all the numbers that you see, my target and my uh, current value are all based on values coming from a Power BI report. Excellent. Now, Tommy, there's a couple cards there up at the upper right hand side of the page. It's called goals and overdue and behind. What do those do and do they provide any in interactivity to the goals below? So Mike, that's a great question. And this is actually a really neat ability to actually 
understand what statuses or what goals you need to take a look at. So what I can actually do, if I want to look at the goals that are behind, the maybe the most sensitive, the ones that I need to make a decision on, mm -hmm. all I have to do is click on behind here. And it's actually going to highlight the ones that I needed uh, that are, I need to focus on. And it's going to highlight, see my products with profit. It's behind. It should be at, at over 85%. Right now it's, we're dealing at 79. So that's something I can easily take a look at and understand what's going on. Sure. If I want to see all the ones that are currently on track, again, just click and highlight, see the ones that are on track. And it works the same way. I can combine these filters. So if I wanted to look at at risk and behind, I can choose so just holding control on my keyboard. And now I can see the ones that maybe I need to make a decision on, maybe I need to act on. Now, there's a lot more features than just what you're seeing here. I mean, this is kind of a pre-set up, pre-defined dashboard. We're going to go through a lot more in depth on the video series around goals on how to set up all the different options and settings. And we'll also talk to you, how do you get that progression line chart to kind of show up at the end there? It's giving you a little indicator as the direction of things up or down. So as you enter more data in, these features will light up for you. And as we go through this video series, we'll give you more detail around how to build these goals and sub goals for your dashboards. Thanks, Tommy. We'll see you guys no next time.